it on yeah. some of these sky cams. Finally, it's been such a cloudy, gloomy, foggy week. And while we will see more of that patchy fog, it's not set to arrive until after our newscast around seven o'clock. So stay with us. We'll keep an eye on visibility until then. For right now, though, it's just those cloudy skies. They're a bit higher up and we're keeping temperatures in the low twenties with a light breeze that's expected to pick up a little bit more later today. Your visibility, though, not looking too bad at all. There are a couple spots like Fort Dodge, Carroll and Spencer that are seeing under that five mile range. So I'm keeping an eye on that, but it's certainly not under a mile. And I think that's really when we start to run into some of those tricky spots throughout the rest of today. We will start to see those increasing chances for precipitation, primarily for the late afternoon into the evening. So think about your drive home. It's really going to depend on where you are, but some of us could be seeing a few flurries out there. Most of that is going to be traveling in from the west. It's scattered right now. Some freezing rain that's traveling through parts of Nebraska, and we could see some of that too for areas west of I-35. Let's track this hour by hour. As we head into the afternoon, we'll start to see that first sign of some of those scattered snow showers moving in toward Fort Dodge, which is really where we're going to see the brunt of this system that's moving moving on in. We'll continue to watch through the early evening and into the late evening. More of this start to trail down toward the metro, really lining I-35 and then continuing to build out farther to the east. More scattered snow showers arriving by the time you're waking up on your Friday morning. So think about that morning commute as well. There is going to be snow on the ground at that point, and we'll continue to watch as those scattered snow showers move off throughout the afternoon and welcome in some nice clear skies as we get into the weekend, which I'm sure many of us are excited about just in time for you to hopefully spend some time outside. But before then, we are going to have a little bit of snow out there that we want you to be aware of. Accumulation looking to be upwards of an inch, a bit farther to the north. We'll say north of Ames is that line that we're going to start to see some of those higher amounts. Areas like Fort Dodge, like I was saying, where we'll see the brunt of this impact, just given where it sets to arrive, might see closer to an inch and a half. More of a dusting though down to the southeast. Again, not a lot of snow, but when you think about the timing of your evening commute through the overnight hours and then your morning commute, this could definitely have an impact on you. So we want to make sure you're aware of it. Looking ahead toward the next couple of days, it's those nice clear skies for Saturday and Sunday. Monday into Tuesday, looks like we could see some scattered rain showers followed up by more snow. This one's one to watch. We could see a couple of inches out of that. It's a little bit too soon to say for sure what exactly will develop by the time we get to Tuesday but we'll be keeping our eyes on that once we get through the next 24 hours between that evening snow tonight morning snow tomorrow. We'll be here to get you ready for it.